Hey guys, it's me again, Orchler. What is where we left off? Let's see, check, check, checking. Ah, uh, well, this is gonna be part one of the new Deku. What if? What if Deku was Snipes' son, or a gunslinger, whichever you prefer? It's gunslinger, Snipes' son, whichever one's shorter, I'll choose. Anyways, okay, so where we're gonna start off is this. Picture this. Inko's walking down the street. Walking down the street in my 6 4. No. Inko's walking down the street with some of her. With. After getting off work. Late at night. Hmm. Kind of regarding where this came from. Well, anyways. Walking down the street. And she has just gotten off her office job. I have no idea what she does as work. I don't think anyone does. Or she stay at home. Hmm, not sure. Anyways, as she's walking down, she's still young and such, so she's pretty much like Inko before Deku found out he had, before Deku found out he wouldn't get a quirk. Hmm. Anyways, as he's, as she's walking down the street, a little bit after that, there's some people on the roof, it's like, oh, how long is this gonna take? Aizawa, it's like, well, you know, yeah. As it's just some hero that he's working with. Snipe's like, we've been on the stakeout for ages. And right now they're looking after a supposed... Uh, what was the word? Not supposed. Right now they're looking after... Like, Inko doesn't work in a good part of town. Like... Yeah, she just really isn't working in a decent part of town... So, some hero activity is present. And, like, there are some, like, a lot, quite a few heroes out during the day and night. But, specifically, her part of town, not really. Since there hasn't been much crime there in a while, so they really got lazy, got slack over there. She's walking down the street, uh... Snipe and uh, this random hero are talking with each other. Like, <sighs> as Snipe says, I hope your intel is good on this. He's like, Trust me, it is. I've been working on this for ages. There's supposedly a drug smuggling, a few guys who do, a few drug runners. We find them, shake them down for their, shake them down for information, send them on their way, we get better information on it. As Inko's walking along, and it's like, Hey, hey, is that our, is that our guy? It's like, uh, I don't know. It's like, well, that might be our guy. Who else could it be? It's like, uh, I'm not sure. Like, think about it. She seems just like an office worker. She looks like she's a very poor office worker. Think about it. As they're talking amongst each other, she eventually actually gets a guy, or t like a guy breaks out of the shadow, like, Pretty much holds up a knife and over the wallet. She's like, "Oh wait, I got a." Well, not hang on, a. She's like, "What?" He's like, "Hand over the purse." Hand as he like ha is like having a knife. It's like, "Come on, me and my pals don't want to do anything too rough to you." As another few other guys break out of like the shadows, one ha has their quirk at the ready. Which is essentially, what it does, it's, uh, it gets like a metal, like a splinters. Like a little black metallic splinters along their skin. As for the other guy, or, well, yeah, other guy, it's essentially like their hair is like a whip. Well, yeah. Hairs are like, their hair, like their long flowing hair, it's like a whip. And they can somewhat control it too, like you know, uh, what's that name? Uh, it's the woman's name from Mortal Kombat. That's like the mother of Katana. I forget her name. Uh, Queen, something other. I don't know. Anyways, she's like looking around, weighing her odds. As Snipe says, "I'm going down there." As he walks over, pretty much lines up the shot. As in. Immediately, the drug runner, like, runs past him. He's like, oh, sorry, boss. 
or like sorry man as in like hey who are you as they like grab him by his shoulder and like toss him to the wall he's like oh it's like he's like hey don't you as one of the guys was hey don't touch him that's one of big rick that's one of big ricky's kids he ain't don't well one of his runners not kids big ricky's runners mess with him he's gonna take your bloody fingers he's gonna take your freaking fingers man touch him trust me it's like kids like yeah the guy's like oh, yeah I'm, i worked for big ricky mess with me and uh you you'll see <laughs> as he's like you threatening me is the guy with the knife says as he pushes the runner against the wall it's like now listen here as he's as in snipes like well i can't <laughs> i'm sorry but i can't do a, i can't uh i was thinking about should i do a cowboy accent but i'm like nah i just butcher it i bring shame to all cowboys out there in fact snipe may actually materialize in front of me and shoot me in the head if not mccree anyways as he's like well 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 what's this as he says who are you is like the one with the who are you it's like oh me i'm just your friendly neighborhood hero named snipe now if you don't mind as he says leave the pretty lady alone and that's nivlin and the runner right there got some business with them so if you wouldn't mind as the like other heroes like come on snipe don't ruin this f i've been on this guy's tail for months actually scratch that years so close i can almost taste it as then there's like as they're like as they're like weighing their options like as then it's like all right all right both scram as he like goes to put his knife away as when he does that he like puts it behind him as then immediately he throws his fist out as it stretches and snipe dodges as then he's like one in the foot as then the guy takes his whip hair and like sort of tries to slap get snipe with it as he's like two as he shoots again as the guy with splinters like along his skin grabs Inko and the runner he's like hey hey move an inch and they both get it sort of like he's like well well can't have that can I as if you don't know snipes quirk it says he can like uh it says he can control the trajectory of any bullet he shoots so my guess is that he could essentially shoot a bullet, at least to some degree, like say, it's pointing straight forward and there's a villain to like, his left or right, or maybe even above him. If he's shooting straight, I'm guessing he can like sort of curve it into their trajectory, into their direction, not trajection. Sorry. As he says, can't have that, can we? As then he shoots up. Well, actually, shoots down, like, sort of close at looking like he's shooting at the runner's foot. As in, as, as that happens immediately, it sort of curves, as in it hits this guy right in his knee as it gets him to fall to the ground. As Inko grabs her purse, smacks him in the face. As then the runner tries to take off, as then the other hero's like, I got him as he pretty much tackles the runner as snipes like you okay ma'am she's like um yes um and you are named snipe uh future right over there is a friend of mine he's like yep yeah, yeah i got this guy as then she's like so what's happening to them well I'm gonna call the police and then i'm gonna well help my friend over there track down a person he's been looking for it's a pleasure meeting you miss miss mrs as he says mrs she's like oh it's just miss midoriya he's like well it's a pleasure meeting you miss midoriya as then he grabs i'm assuming they would have some form of capture gear so he pretty much just like you know 
puts it on the people and gets things squared away. As that gets over that. As then the next day, a couple of days later, Snipe and the one guy are talking. He's like, so, got anything useful out of that guy? He's like, got a few interesting tidbits, but it's not enough to find this dude. Big Ricky really is really hard to find. Huh. So, how was it? How was that? Uh, what's her name? Uh, Midoriya, whatever her name was. She's like, oh, her? She's doing fine. Just fine. It's like, what? Checking up on her? He's like, mm. some after instant reports to get a feel about the area. Apparently, this area right here hasn't been doing too well. Crime wise. And there's been spikes here and there, but apparently, Big Ricky is one of the few that are actually taking an interest in the area. Don't know why, though. As he's like, eh, we'll find out eventually, especially if you help me with Big Ricky. We get a guy like him, there's no doubt that we get any more contacts or find any more unknown people going around in this area. Might bring some business and life back to her. This guy takes a sip from coffee, like, so, as they continue work, to work, Inko and such, going back to her school, well, not school, but her job, as they continue to talk. Eventually, they, like, run across each other every now and then, as he's like, well, I'll be Miss Midori, as she's, like, grabbing coffee one day, she's like, oh, um, Mr. Snipe, it's like, pleasure. And anyway, you can just call me Snipe. No Mr. Needed. She's like, oh, you wanna sit down? He's like, sure. As they sit down at the table, at a, like a coffee table, it's like, just start talking. And they find out they actually have a lot in common. As when they're talking, it's in, like a couple of villains roll up in a car. As he notices, he's like, get down! As he like grabs her and throws it at the table. As in, it's just like a bunch, a hail of bullets going off as he's like, just like bang, 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 bang against the entire thing. As the cash register person was like, everyone get down. As like Snipe shouted out, it out as well. As they, everyone got undercover, it's like, he's like, stay down, Miss Midoriya. I got this. As he's like, as he, I'm guessing he has something else besides a gun. Like he's an. I know his gun looks like it could hold so much ammo, but how does he reload that thing? As well as he, it, like, I think other people should include it. <laughs> He's just like, all right, I got this. As he g sort of lo gets something, as he pulls two pins and throws it over the wall, as then there's just a loud bang, like a bang from a flashbang, not a boom. As the bang goes off, guys are like, what the f As then he jumps up, pulls out his customized revolver, and just, you know, bang, bang, bang. As he uses, like, with the quick shot, takes out the guys, as well as shooting the car's tires and such. Then jumps over, like, rips open the car door, and pretty much says, who do you work for? He's like, as the guy's like... <laughs> I work for Big Ricky, man. I work for Big Ricky. As he's like, well, me and you are just gonna have to have a talk about Big Ricky now, aren't we? As the guy, as Snipes like, excuse me, Miss Midoriya, would you mind calling some, those, some people for me? She's like, um, sure. As he like hands her his phone. Oh, he's like, passcode is 6181. And she's like, six, four, eight, one. As then, like, that gets all squared away. It's like, sorry again for that, Miss Midoriya. But it's a good thing that we were able... And good thing that... She's like, yeah, that was... <laughs> As he's like, are you laughing? She's like, sorry, it's just that. Um, it was somewhat exciting. He's like, well, getting bullet shot at you kind of does that. Trust me, I would know. As they just share a laugh, she's like, would you like to grab coffee again? He's like, I would love to. As with that being underway and such. 
As with that being underway and such, uh, sorry for that. Uh, that being underway, they continue talk and like get coffee. Sometimes they'll go for brunch. <laughs> As the guy Snipes working with just teases him about, it, he's like, "Man, you and Miss Midori are sure getting cozy." So what? Is she gonna? As he like, pretty much teases him. So with your whole cowboy persona, is she gonna get kidnapped by the dangerous gang leader, and you're gonna ride in there on your white steed? <laughs> As the guy is laughing. <laughs> Uh, tell you this, I'll buy you right a white motorcycle just so you could, just so you could fulfill that little fantasy of yours. He's like, ah, oh, shut it. Nah, uh, I'll, we'll get Big Rick, the f Big Ricky or Big Rick, whichever his stupid name is. It's like, oh, you seem more invested. He's like, of course, he tried to kill me two times already. I'm like, wait, two? He's like, yeah, some guy's trying to jump me. Like, oh, well then, we'll see. We'll see that taken care of, Snipe, as they laugh. As and eventually, as stereotype goes, as this is actually taking a long time. As Inko's like, how long have you guys been searching for him? It's like, we've been searching for him for six months. Trust me, that's a long time to dedicate to one person like well yeah I guess it is as they just start talking so what's gonna happen as she's like so what's gonna happen to you when you you know get done with this whole big Rick guy she's like well I was looking at this area and see and I saw it could use a lot of work so I was thinking about sticking around for a while she's like oh well doesn't sound too bad as he's like yeah hmm. besides I enjoy our little conversation she's like yeah, me too. Yeah. The office work is so annoying as she says it. <coughs> <coughs> Plus, there's a lot of drama. Seriously, you have no idea how much drama goes into working at an office. Or at least mine. She says, Like, the most stupid arguments happen. She's like, if you wouldn't mind gossiping about it a bit, she's like, ah, oh, hit me with it. As she's like, all right. So as she goes on a long tangent about how this coworker, like, took this coworker's like food, and then just as she then talks about how it just sparks something in with it too, because they can't be in the same room without, like, either mag, as she said, they call it mag dogging each other dogging there we go mad dogging each other and eventually like sometimes they literally will just fly into like a rage or something and just start punching each other for no reason like it she's just like i don't get it she's like two got co-workers you got are guys it's like yeah it's like ah that explains it one feels disrespected the other one from refuses to pay up for it <laughs> as he gives a laugh Oh, I remember that stuff happening at school. Yeah, but they're adults now. They should learn to separate that from that. She's like, she's like, laughs. she's like, what's funny? It's just like, talking about acting like a grown up. <laughs> hey, your persona is a cowboy. He's like, hey, cowboys are very admirable. It's like, yeah, as they laugh. As then she leaves, he's like, all right, Miss Midoriya. Man, this is long. Well, anyways, as they continue to talk with each other about, well, not continue to talk, but after they're talking with each other, they eventually leave, go their separate ways, as a guy in a limousine is like, hmm, as he, like, makes a hand signal, as they drive up behind her, it's like, excuse me, Miss Midoriya, as, like, one holds up a gun, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to get in the car. It's like, it's like, hello. Uh, this is Big Miss Midoriya and you're in front of Big Ricky as no joke he is very small almost the size of a uh, like a he's like 5 feet maybe like 5 maybe 4'11 
that's how small he is. As she's like, um, how oh, may I help you? She's like, I understand. As he like starts talking with her, he's like, you're gonna help me. As then he like slides a phone to her as they arrive at a building as he like makes another hand signal. You're gonna call your friend. As he like is class like a classic villain holding a cigar, evil mustache, and a bowler hat. I don't know why a bowler hat, I just think it. As he's wearing it, and you're gonna call him. As he like takes a puff out of his cigar. Yes, this is like really old timey things. <laughs> and you're gonna tell him that you're in trouble. Now, we've given you 24 hours. As he lets out a little puff. Now, you see, I'm in the middle of a business. So, do this, and I won't harm you. Anyways, that's all. As he's like, remember, 24 hours. As then he takes another, like, another little inhaling. And he's like, speaks to one of his bodyguards, ensures he does it. She doesn't. Start hurting him. Not the face, though. As then he leans back in his car, as the car then takes off. Or the, pretty much, limousine takes off. As this guy... Like I said, he's a he's got a name Big Ricky, not just for irony, but he's also a pretty big gang or mob boss or gang boss, whichever you prefer. As he's not Amer he's not Japanese, so he's not part of the Yakuza or any gang like that. He's like an independent factor that came in, that came in after some like trouble in some other countries as he just eventually landed himself in Japan. As then Inko, like, refuses to make the call as they're like, uh. As some of them like, boss, I don't like hitting ladies. She's like, uh, fine, I'll do it. As then he's about to start doing, as then there's a crash and then, like, bang, bang, bang. As he's like, you, as the guy, as this is Snipe's friend, as he says, sorry about this. As he's like, hey, Miss Midoriya. I'm the Snipes partner. Pleasure to meet you. She's like, thanks. Pleasure to meet you too. Like, yeah, we Snipe figured that eventually the guys would come for you. He signed to me. He asked me to look over you to make sure you stayed safe. I'm like, wait, he knew this? He's like, yeah, don't worry. As in, they just hear a crash. As Snipes, like, you're going a long away for a long time. He's like, the, the big Ricky's like, hey, I got, I know people, Snipe. Yeah, you hear the rest of me? As eventually, like, cops and such pull up and they're all put away. And that's pretty much that story. A story that would take hours. Like, a, over a few hours to get. I did in, like, less than 20. Well, more than, like, at least under 30 minutes. Anyways, as Inko and Snipe are talk, As Snipe says, sorry about that. Midoriya but it seems Big Ricky bit on tried to get a bit too was getting a bit too big for his boots not even in the metaphorical way he literally was wearing a size four it's like wearing such small shoes <laughs> almost like a baby's as he lets out like takes out a tear yeah as he's like I heard that he's like oh shut it Ricky it's like so shall I walk you Shall I escort you home? She's like, sure. As in, there's a white motorcycle. And he's like, you did. And he's like, yep, right off into the sunset. It's the middle of the night. It's like, you get the drift. Now get out of here, Snipe. As in, that's sad. As time skip. To when Midori and Snipe are married. There's a... You cut to a house. A where... Oh. Yeah, I, would they have a house mansion or apartment hmm that is a good question I'll say that the snipe has a relatively place in a high class area I would say or like even just like you know yeah just like in a not an apartment since like you know snipe is a top hero I'm pretty sure like may not be in like top 10 
But he's a pretty high up there hero. He talks with Lurus. He's like, yeah. Yeah, as Inko's like, yep. As, well, not Inko, but Snipe's like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I've been taking time off, alright? Give me a break. It's like, as in Inko's like, hey, um. Uh, hey, uh. Yeah, I went dark for a second. Uh, I was trying to remember his actual hero name, but he doesn't have any other name. They just call him Snipe, so you know what? It's like, hey, uh, Snipe? It's like, yes, Inko? It's like, um, where did we put the... Well, not where did we, but... Are we all out of peanut butter? She's like, he's like, uh, I don't think we are. I thought I got in, like, a jar, like, a couple of days ago. It's like, Snipe... Is she having cravings again? She's like, yeah, yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, as then, she's like, oh, um, as she's like, what? And he's like, my water broke. And he's like, drops the thing. He's like, oh, she, <laughs> as he's like, <laughs> he's like, she's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm calling the helicopter. He's like, we have a helicopter? He's like, no, I know some guys. As I'll take it that Snipe panics in this situation. As in, flying off. As then, eventually after hours of whatever. I'm not going to describe anything. Sounds stupid. After hours, and Snipe being scared to death, even though he should have nervous steel. As the partner, as I couldn't think of any hero that Snipe has partnered with or would be, because I think he's like a... Uh, I think he was around, uh, he doesn't have an age. All right, Jesus. There's not a lot on this guy. So, perfect candidate. I'll say Snipe is maybe in his... When he met Inko, he was in his late 20s. Now he's in, like, his mid-30s. As in, like, all right, all right. As... Da-da-da-da. Deku. They're enjoying a moment. As then skip several years again. Snipe is talking with Inko as Deku is like walking around as they're just enjoying life. As Snipe's like, huh, I wonder what his quirk will be. Hey little guy. As he like pats his head. As he's like sitting down watching an old western as well, of course, where else would he get it? As Deku's like almost fascinated by this old western as I'll say he's actually watching a really old uh, I freak, I think it's the Lone Ranger Wait, what's it? yeah I think it's the Lone Ranger like the you know white suit black mask whole thing I forget yeah it's the Lone Ranger I'm pretty sure as he's watching like the really old one as he's like Deku's like really invested as Inko's like I'm going out it's like alright as they're just chilling as he's looking around he's like alright as then Deku's like cowboy as he like says word cowboy is like essentially one of the only words he knows he's like yeah that's right it's time to play cowboys as he's like walking around as Deku has like a few things that like would like resemble little cowboy toys as it's like like, uh, you know those, like, little, uh, pony sticks? Or, cow like, horse sticks? As he actually likes to ride one of them. Deku. And he also has, like, a little cowboy hat and even, like, the... Even the mask. Like a little... Like a mask. Like a... Like Snipe's mask. The gas mask thing. As he wears it, he's like, Alright, Deku. As he's like, Now. Alright, Deku. Come on, Deku. The robbers are this way. As Deku's like, yeah. <laughs> Just like, rock going on by. As I'll say, uh, Deku go will end up going to, you know, the whole Ida school. Because I'll say Snipe did want him to go to a good... Well, Inko, more or less, did. As she knows that good education equals... Well, a good high school could actually make a very good difference. As she went to a really shitty one. Yeah. As she's talked about him, like, alright, private high school, eventually. Okay, I'm sorry there. As Deku is, like, one day going around, he's like, yeah. As 
another time skip. He's around four or five, like the time when they get their quirks checked. As Deku, like, like as they're, the people are looking, it's like, oh, you're Snipes, kid. All right, um, well, this is a very simple one. As they walk over, put something in his hand, hit the target. <laughs> no. I'll say Deku, like Snipe, likes to keep up with his practice. So I'll say he actually does have a range that he shoots at. As Snipe is practicing one day, Deku's like, it's like out and about playing. As Snipe does it far away so Deku doesn't get terrified. As Snipe, without his quirk, is an excellent marksman. As he's just shooting one-handed down the sight. As he just makes a smiley face. As he just like lets off a little chuckle. He's like, huh. As Deku's like, like walk. As Inko like turned away for a second. As he walked down this, walked down and walked all the way over. As he saw Snipe. As he's like, Dada. He's like, oh, buddy. He's like, oh, what are you doing over here? Uh, Enko. As she, like, is like, oh my god, what are you doing over there? As Snipes, like, where is he? As he walks over, puts Deku up on the little thing. As he gives him, like, earmuffs and, like, the earplugs. It's like, as he hands him a tiny little 22. As I'm guessing Snipe wouldn't train Deku how to use a gun or at least let him shoot once as he's like alright as Inko's like what are you doing he's like ah it's safe it should be as he's like alright as he like puts on an apple as he like put up the apple beforehand I'll say as he was about to shoot and he's like alright see that apple he's like Deku's like apple he's like yes alright look at it as he like helps him and the, I'll say he actually even puts on a suppressor for a 22 just in case. He's like not worried about hurting Deku's ears. As he's like, alright now, focus. As in like, pew. As in like a pew. And he's like, he missed. It's like, it's all right. Deku's like, oh. As he's like, it's okay, it's okay. He got more. As then, like, Deku doesn't even, like, Deku doesn't, Snipe realizes Deku is actually off. Like his tra- as Deku thinks he's on point, but he's actually around, like, a, like, a six inches, like, higher than what he needs to be. As Snipe's like, alright, alright. As then, Deku, like, at the very end, after getting a little bit frustrated, actually thinks about it. As then, the bullet shoots out slowly, like, in his mind, like, if it was slow motion, like, slow-mo... And then as it was going up, it like turns down as then it goes straight into the apple at an angle. And he's like, ah, I thought so. Like, you thought what? Like, he has mic work. He's like, what? He just shot on... Well, he doesn't say that right now. As it's like, good job, buddy. He's like, you want you want a popsicle? It's like, Deku's like excited now. He's like, yeah. All right. As in later on, he's like, he has my quirk. I knew it. He's like, wait, what do you mean? He's like, his mark was off by six inches. He shouldn't have made that shot without having the ability to curve the bullet. Especially at that range. It wasn't that far away. She's like, so, what? He's like, yeah, he has my quirk. Simple like that. Like, maybe later on I'll start teaching him. But right now, yeah, I was questioning even giving him the gun in the first place. He's like, well, you should. That's a good question. It's like, well... As then he, like, gets a call, it's like, I gotta go. He's like, yeah, I've been not doing enough. And I think bills are getting a little tight. Azinko, uh, does do a job. She actually still does do a job. Because she doesn't just, like, want to, know, you know, stay around the house all day. Since Snipe can, like, hire maids and butlers and such. Like, people to actually take care of the house. Or wherever they live. Yeah, I'll just say a house. That they can, like, shoot things at, you know. As with that being said, Deku eventually goes off. First, first, goes off, does his thing, and they do their thing. As I think this is a nice place to end off the first part of what if Deku was Snipe's son. Or what if Snipe was Deku's dad. What if Deku was a gunslinger. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to decide which one I will put, so. 
Anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed it. Hope you all continue to enjoy it. And I hope you all have a nice day, nice night, nice life.